All right, hello and welcome back to journal entry number 16. I am Morbid, your host. This is my son. M2. And my I'm daughter. I. Yep. And I taste delicious. This is the game Gloomhaven, in case if you were wonder. If you're, yeah. or if you're like new to this channel. Yeah. A um, little bit of cleanup from last week. The I am playing the Vermling Mind Thief. I did level up to level five, so I'm actually at ten hit points. Woohoo! Nice um, <clears throat> for my card, I ended up picking Mass Hysteria as my card. So that's my fifth level card. And for a perk, I took add one plus two create ice card. So that's what I did for my perk. And I also spent some gold and bought a moon earring. During your turn, refresh all of your spent items. That's actually a pretty good card because I have four items that exhaust. So that works out. Um, what are you playing again? I'm playing as the Inox Brute. Who's uh, trying to kill me and no. trying to kill Ariel. Stop. No. I didn't really do anything since last time. I'm also playing the Orchid Spellweaver, and I think I got a perk last time, which was add one rolling generate earth card and add one rolling generate wind card. Rolling? Which means you draw, you pick, you flip again. Don't forget yeah. to do battle goals and road events. Yep, but let's, what are you playing? I'm playing the Vermling Beast Tyrant. Yep. Hold up the thing. Oh, oh. Can I hold it over here? Yep. Rawr. And that's cool. And. Uh, yeah, I'm cool. I, I've, I've got my bear. That's my that's my bear over there. Cuddles. That's her. That's and the, the and that's beast the bear. tyrant. That's the brute. That's the mind thief. And that's the spell we were. And that's the bear. Yeah, we yes. already said that like three times, Ariel. Yes. My bear actually has health. Alright, if you remember, we hell. met this witch like hail in an abandoned tavern. And she asked us to get something for her, and because we did, we ended up unlike enhancements, but they're very expensive. We don't really have the gold for enhancements at this point. Um, so we are going to be doing, we decided to do scenario 19, Forgotten Crypt. Requirements, the power of enhancement global, complete, which it is. The goal is to protect Hale, which is, I believe, right here. Got it. Until she reaches the altar, which is right there. Got These, it. just so you know, are scenario A tokens. Certain things happen when we reach those tokens. Uh, Dad, something happened. Okay. And right now we have a Living Bones Elite, a and Cultist, and two Normal Cultists. And, um, and I can't we just fix something. And we're just talking to ourselves now. No, we're not, Ariel. Oh, but it's still recording. Oh. All right. Um, I will read you the introduction to this scenario. What do you want now? Hale stares at you blankly. You found a rift into the plane of elemental power, and you want to close it. She sighs. Well, I did agree to help you. Hale begins. Tossing the orb you retrieved up and down in thought. Oh, this is your... Oh. Well, I did... Okay, based on your description, it's going to take a little extra work to close a rift of that magnitude. I could do it myself, but it would take a while, and it may get troublesome if we were to be attacked by the other side in the middle of the incantation. It'd be much easier to do if I had an elemental sensor, which really is entirely too convenient because I've been waiting to get my hands on one for my studies anyway. I knew a powerful elementalist who owned one many years ago. He's dead now, but I'll take you to his crypt personally. I advise against handling the sensor on your own. After a day's journey, you find an ancient, overgrown mausoleum resting along the Serpent's Kiss River. So Stonebreaker really was a nice fellow. Getting crushed by massive boulders is just one of the hazards of being an elementalist, though. After clearing away the overgrown vines, you head down into the crypt. Uh, oh, great! 
Hale these, says. These blasted cultists are everywhere nowadays, probably looking for the sensei too. You look at Hale with confusion as he points to the shadows where dark figures in black robes emerge. I didn't even finish my quote. There's, there's still like, the da da and that. Or they simply don't want you to have it. You shouldn't have come here, ghost face. One of them says. Ah. Uh, Hale sighs. Despite dispatch these simpletons quickly, I'm already bored with them. Okay, we set up our map tiles. We got our first room seated. Special rules. Add three curse cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect. I ignore scenario effects because of one of my perks. I also ignore negative scenario effects. Neither of us do, so... So each of you will have to have three curses. Oh, that sucks. Yep. And while he does that, I'll finish reading you. Just listen, okay? Hale, A, represented by a number token, has four plus two times the level hit points. Actually, what level are you? Three? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're still at four, which means it's level two. Easy mode, which we are playing on, is actually one. Okay, so she's got four plus... Two, she has six hit points. She is an ally to you and an enemy to all monster types. She acts on initiative 99 each round, performing move two towards the altar. Opening doors <coughs> and springing traps if necessary. The scenario is complete when she ends her turn in a hex adjacent to the altar. If Hale is killed, the scenario is lost. And that's it for the journey. There's be more stuff when we do this. Certain points. Um, no. And while he's doing that, I'll hand out battle goals. And the road event. We gotta do the road event, yes. Just reminding. There's two, 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 two. two. Uh, I think this one is good for me. Me and Carlos can do it together. Mm, this is kind of crazy. I'll try this one. See what happens. Here you go, Dad. The one I didn't pick. You could probably do this. Are you sure? Yeah, if you go early enough, yeah. I'll try. Oh, both of these. Yeah, no, that was a good choice. Yeah, you can do both those. All right, good, good, good choice. All right. That's the one I didn't choose for the brutes. Okay. Yeah, it's a very odd shapes rooms. It's pretty cool, so we're gonna have to go doop, doop, doop. And then something happens over here, I don't know what that is. Okay. We got our elemental no, board up you. there in the north. Here's the one I didn't choose for the spell Okay. And Princess Pi, why don't you read a road event? And that Mem 2, you will um okay, choose it. make the choice. So read that loud and clear and slow. Okay. <clears throat> As you walk down a dirt pass, you see a hard looking mercenary sitting in a patch of grass. He nods as you pass. Hey friends, he says. There's something off about his tongue, he said. There's something about off about his tongue now. I don't suppose one of you might be willing to part with a stamina potion, would you? I'm heading toward Gloomhaven, but I've just come such a way and I'm not feeling too good about the stretch I have left. With the, with the clank of his sword, she's against his armor and, and a loud ground demands to himself. I'll pay you well for it. Option A, stale demand a stamina potion. Option B, politely de decline and move quickly on your way. Hmm, you should probably go with B. Well, it's his choice. Oh, well, I mean, just suggestion. Yeah, well, it is a party. Yeah, it is a party. So we I'm can sell him the sure. potion or decline his. Decline. I almost all have stamina potions. 
And stamina potions don't cost too much, so if we wanted, we could always buy new ones. Hmm. I think we should do it. Okay. Sell them in the stamina potion. Okay. A. Pay one collective minus stamina potion item zero to two. What? Uh, Read it out loud, I can't hear you. Pay one collective minus stamina potion item zero to thirteen. Okay. Wait, I didn't finish. After some oddly tense negotiations, you're able to agree on a pot of price. As one hand, he firmly on his sword help. The man grabs a coin pouch with the other hand and extends it toward you. Exchange goods and continue on your journey without further incense, in, in, incident. Gain, gain ten, gain ten collective gold if we had these symbols. Uh, yeah, let me see those symbols. It's a Where's saw it? and it's just, hold on, I'm looking to see if we got it. I think we had, I think we got rid of it. I don't know. Hold up. Yeah, there's one scoundrel, one of them. Yeah, the scoundrel, but we got rid of the scoundrel. Oh, man. Well, he leveled, he retired. That was you. I actually. think it was she. Yeah, that was you. Okay. No, can I have it back? Uh, I will uh, rip it up. So we need to pay one stamina potion. Um. Why don't... And you gain... We each gain ten collective gold. Yeah. So I'm at 32. So, wait, we gain 10 collective gold? Yes. So... Oh, 10 collective gold. Yeah, you're right, I did do that you wrong. Could I at least rip up this card? Yeah, but this do it over here. Okay. Goodbye, card. <laughs> whip. All right, I'm not I'll a whip. Whip once. There you go. So what cool. um... I sell the stamina potion, I guess. Okay. So I'll put this in the shop. Oops, sorry. Pick it up. Why is that sorry? Well, I know, but you gotta pick it up. Oh yeah, you've never even opened those. Alright, well that was actually kind of a waste. So why don't you just take the 10 gold? Uh, the brute? Yeah, I mean, so you can buy another one because that seems... Yeah. Can't buy it now because we're on the road. I mean, um, my so own here. pencil over here, don't I? I think... Yeah, we used to, don't worry about it now. Just All spread right, it down. Alright, so we did the road event. Got our battle goals. Kind of read the intro. Oh, uh, and by the way, um, how much would that moon earring cost? Twenty. Yeah, actually, our reputation is at 10, so it's minus 2 to the price. Oh, we probably haven't even been doing it so the whole like time. 15. Yeah, so I actually got a couple more gold, all right. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we gotta remember that. We've probably been doing that the whole time, forgetting about the party sheet. Party sheet. Yeah, we got a good reputation. Yeah, we got a reputation of plus 10, so that gives us a minus 2 shop price mod modifier. Right. So I think I only got 9 gold. I don't think I took off the 20 gold here. Alright, that is it. And we'll kind of put it back on when we get to here. And yep. we'll, we'll show you kind of what's going on. Alright, yeah, bye guys. See ya. Bye. Alright, we just opened up the door here. Yep, the very door number very one. Just it says, right there is no rest among these cursed undead. As you kick through the door into the next room, you hear more commotion from the entrance. There's more of them behind us, Hale yells. I uh, wait, I have Spawn one normal cultist it's for fun. two characters, or two normal cultists or for three or four characters at C. Okay. So okay. cultists are going to come up behind us. So we need two normal cultists. Okay. Alright, so two colors showed up behind us, so that's not good for Hale. Yep. 
Nope, not good at all. Alright, so you can see where we're at there, and in this, this room I open up, might as well see it while they're watching. I need a cultist. Right. And Ariel, I need living bones. Living bones, eyes, 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 eyes. When I shuffle them like this, it actually sounds like bones, so... No, 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 but okay. To me. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It's okay, Mark. Alright, bodies. You guys can see there's a lot of living bones just showed up. But these are not spawned. We didn't have to spawn this, so we're still dropping loot for these guys. They are already there when we started. And that's where we stand, and we'll talk to you again when we open up uh, door, number door number two. Okay, we're opening up another door. Another door. And don't forget to do what? Uh, I don't know. Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss. Okay, uh, there I need the three poison traps over there. They're the green. They should be green. Um, they're green, green and weird. And yeah. Green. Well, how are we oh, the three it? damage traps actually. They're damage traps. Yes. All right, that makes sense. So they're there, and Ariel, I need living corpses. Corpses. Got it. We got corpses and damage traps. Let me just get the. So actually, you can probably put that back. We're not going to need that anymore. Uh, no, actually, we will in a minute. Oh, uh, okay. So, we yeah, have corpses somewhere. Okay. I've got the living corpses. So you probably got the living corpses. Where should I put one? Oh, yeah. Will you give me? Uh, I'll control the living corpses. Okay. Oh, the cards are over here. Yep, give me the cards. And then I need another one. Here are the cards. And here is the corpse. They hit pretty hard. Yeah. And then another one. They only move one, so I don't think Hale will be able to make it. Yeah, she will. Problem is, I blocked her. Yeah, you did. All right, and no. So there was a scenario A, so number two. Spawn one normal living spirit for two or three characters, or two normal living spirits for four characters at D, and that's D. So I need two normal living spirits. Right. So you can flip that over, Ariel. Why don't you put that okay. like, right on the... I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. Oh, don't worry about it. Who cares? Cards. Don't worry about it. Who cares? Alright, here is living spirit. Uh, how many do you need? Two. Because there's four of us. Oh yeah, there is four of us. I saw you. <laughs> it wasn't slick at all. I saw what you just did. What did he just do? He went to shell him. He's like, I was going to top one. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, as you guys can see, Hale is right here. It's not wounded yet. Got yeah. the brute. Got the bear. Two living spirits. Two cultists. Oh. Um, two Hale. living bones. An elite cultist. Yeah, elite living corpse, two normal living corpse, damage traps, obstacle, yeah, a lot of stuff. So, well, all right, just, we'll let you know what happens. Just like all right, we just opened up the last door to the last room. This is where Hal has to go. This is where Hal has all to right. go. All right, we need the altar, Ariel. Altar, what's the altar? This Should thing altar yep. is a little podium. So that goes there. Oh. That's the altar. Then we need this yes. treasure chest. Yes. Comes here. Oh. Then we're gonna need four. We're gonna need eight loot tokens. Eight loot. Yeah. And error. We need two cultists. Two cultists. No, wait, wrong, wrong figures. Eight loot. 
you and they're gonna go in all four corners of the room. The two there, two there, two there, two there. All right, you wanna stack on top of each other? Any nope, more? Any two, more there, two there, two there, two oh, there, two yeah. there. No and more cultists. Okay, okay. But I will need living corpses. All right. It's funny that we're killing the living corpses, even though the corpse moves dead body. Which well, they're alive dead bodies. Yeah, then we're killing them again. And again. And again. All right. I'll read what happens in here. Spawn one normal living bones or two living bones normal for our four characters. So we need two living bones. All right. There you go. Let it go in A. And another living bones. Here you go. Okay. And it says. That's it. So we have to get hell. To the altar. Yep, she reaches the altar. And she gotta just be next to her to end her turn. Alright, so as you can see, we got some elite cultists, elite living corpse, couple living corpse, got some loot, an altar, treasure chests, got some damage traps, a lot of living bones right here, a living corpse, some living bones down here, and a cultist, bears holding them back. Yes. And we'll see what happens at the conclusion. You can do it. Alright, and we've just completed the scenario by the skin of our teeth. As you can see, we have an elite living corpse here. Cuddles the bear was unfortunately taken out. We have the beast tyrant here holding all these guys up. An elite cultist. Yeah, you put the thing? Three living bones. One thing. Oh. Um, couple living bones up here. We ended up getting the chest. I was on my last turn. This is gonna be it for me. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Um, it was pretty darn tough. And this is the, the mystic, mystic ally. ally. Someone here's Hale. Yeah, and there's she, Hale. She's down to one hit point. Yeah. So but I she mean, has, but she fought Hale got to the um, altar. Yeah, but it was not. It was not easy. It so, was pretty darn tough. Let's read the conclusion. I will read the conclusion. Read it. Read um, it like you mean it. I'm on introduction. It wouldn't work. Introduction. Hey, you ready, Ben? Yeah, yeah. Hale moves forward and grabs hold of the sensor. She lifts it aloft and speaks a few words in an unknown language. Fire bursts forth and immolates the remaining undead, reducing them to ash. Hale breaks the smallest of smiles. Oh, what? I don't, oh. Well, now that, well, that annoyance has been dealt with. No, read it right now. Well, now that the... Uh, no. Now that that yeah, it says that that. <laughs> it's like a it's a miss up. It actually says that that. Now that that now that that annoyance has no. Been, it's not a mess up. It's has been now that that mess. annoyance. Oh yeah, there should be a comma. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna read no, it. No, 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 no. Okay. Right. Anyways, now that that annoyance has been dealt with, let's get on with the real fun. Show me to this rift of yours. All right, and. We do have something to do here, but let's first do. Let me move these off the board. Our figures and all of these. Dad, that's so, my oh, beast tyrant um, over there. Oh, I did take your beast tyrant. Yeah, we've got two vermlings. I took. A, I took your. Yeah, it's a vermling. Well. We've got two vermlings on the team, so it's kind of confusing. I'll take. No, the Mr. Gallon can stay there. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Gallon, stay there. Don't move a muscle. So can hail. Yeah, he'll can stay there by the altar. So, Mr. Galli, um, got any fun plans for the cellar? Oh, well, you see, I'm just gonna hang out until... Alright, so, what we'll do is a bit of gold. Because there's no other things here for a reward. I'll do rewards in a minute. 
The gold is worth two per token. Hold on, why don't we do the chest first? Because we're no, doing the gold I think first. We're right. Yeah, it's the rule. Two per um token. So okay. I've got one token. So you get two gold. I, the brute, have three loot tokens, which means I get um six gold. Wait, twenty eight plus two is Twenty-eight plus two? Thirty. Yep. Okay, so the brute gets six gold. You got three tokens? Yep. Okay. I got so none. I'm now up to forty-four gold. Good, good. One token. So As you can see, we left a lot of loot out here. We don't go for yeah. loot. It was very tight. Like, we didn't have time to like get this loot really. All that money is no, gone. I know, there's a lot of loot out here, man, but. I have 25 gold. Cool, and we took out, of course, all of our loot cards, so. All right, Um, we did, like I said, get the treasure chest. It's right here, so you wanna put that back. Um, it was number, number major spoilers, people. It was number 17. So I have to look in the back of the scenario book. Gain 20 gold. Okay. Yay. So do you only gain it? Yeah. Okay. Then I got the chest, unfortunately, which is really not good, and you'll see why in a minute. All right, so I have 29 gold. I got to mark this off. All right, um, battle goals. Okay, I didn't do mine. I did do mine. Aggressor have one or more monsters present on the map at the beginning of every round during the scenario. I All did right. do that, and that, which gets me a perk. For the spell weaver, I did mine. Professional. Use your equipped items a number of times equal to or greater than your level plus two during the scenario, which is five, and I already have four consumed ones and one exhausted one. Also, I exhausted the eagle eye goggles twice, so I used my items six times actually, and I gained a check mark. Cool. Here's the pencil. I don't know what happened to our other pencil. Oh, oh, I took yours. Okay. Yeah. I did not get a perk though, but for the brute, I completed mine. Gain, layabout. Gain seven or fewer experience points during the scenario. And I gained seven. Now remember, that does not count. At the end, you get the bonus experience. This is experience during the scenario, just so you know how that works. So I gained two check marks, but I did not get a perk. Okay, that's fine. Let me shuffle these up real quick for next time. All right, um, that was experience, that was battle goals, that was gold. Yep. Let's lay out the map. Nice. I'm okay. a map. I'm a map. I'm the map. Seriously? Guard explorer? Yes. Yeah. Seriously? Is the map? Ah! What? I knocked over my brute with the map. Why is that so brutish, is he? Why is... All right, we actually need uh, like a sticker. I... The Ruinous Rift, 27. Sticking number 27. Number Is it 27? a global champion? Oh no, it's a no. level? Yeah. Alright, cool. 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 Oh cool, cool. um, well, man, we do not have it, okay, so. Five, 27. 27. It's going to be E6. So, E. Is this E? Yep. Yep. E6. I see it. 27. Oh yeah, I was, I was like 27, and then 69. Okay, the ruinous rift. Oh, let me mark in here that we did this scenario. And then number 19 on here. Where's 19 on here? M7. M7. Oh, right here. Sorry, I'm still Aren't you cold as having a coat mark? No. Yeah, I'm fine. Not. All right, that was that. We also get a party achievement. So you gotta write that down. Get a party, 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 party. Your pencil's over there. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's right here. Party. Stonebreakers sensor. Let me know when you're ready. If you wanna know how to spell it. Stonebreakers. 
Yeah, how do you spell it? S T O N E B R E A K E R Apostrophe S. Yes. Okay, the next word, sensor, C E N S E R. Got it. And as a reward, we gain one prosperity. Ooh! Prosperity. Which means That's perfect. we are at level four. Yes. Do yes. you yes. get anything for prosperity level four? Yes, we're not like new items. Cool. cool. Um, what new items Dad, do we need? Um, um, I know, I know everything. Everything's going on. Um. I know there's an easy page to find it out, but I can't. You cannot find the page? Page of Wait, I see. Oh, 43, 43. Yeah, no, we're still, we're still doing this. We're doing so we're going to be adding items 29 through 35. These items will go to the marketplace and become available for us to purchase. 29 through 35. Okay, it's all right there. I'll add and them. And where's our other items? 29 you know? Oh, it's over 35. there. Okay, cool. I'll add them in. And we gotta do X, the rest of the XP? Yep. So we get XP six plus whatever was on our dial. Oh, so, so I'm actually gonna get all 11. So I'm gonna be at 222. No, that's not true, 221. Plus like you, <coughs> and then 12 plus like, I don't know if that's 35 or 135. Oh, it's 135, it better be 135. And then that, and then 11 plus 135 would be... No, 12. And then 12 plus 135 would be... Just do 35 plus 12. Okay, 35 plus 12 is... And Mark, you can do yours. Alright, so yes. the brute Six. got 7 plus 6 equals 14. Which means I am up to 217. Nice. So that'd be 147. Yep. Which means... Ah, uh, she's three away from leveling up. Yeah. But I have leveled up to level five. Very, very nice. Yep. And the spell we regain six experience, and six plus six is 12, and 12 plus 185 equals... 197. Oh, you're close to leveling up, too. Yeah. Perfect. All right. All right, cool. So we did XP. We did battle goals. We did gold. We read the conclusion. We did the awards. Now you get a lot. We now got the seven. prosperity, so that went up. That's nice. Yep. And this is not linked, so we actually have to go back to Gloomhaven. And now that we go back to Gloomhaven, we've got something special for you. I have actually completed as the Vermling Mind Thief. My name is Snark, the Vermling Mind Thief. I completed my personal goal, Ooh. Eternal Wanderer. There is so much to see in this world. So many wondrous places beyond belief. Snowy mountain peaks, forgotten islands, and crystalline caverns. Surely all these miraculous sites were not created by chance. You desire to visit these places and meditate upon their existence. Perhaps doing so will give you greater insight into your own existence as well. Complete 15 different scenarios, and we just did. Ooh, nice. Um, and then it says, open box, and it looks like a spirally weird circle thing. You can see, remember major spoilers, people. Let me see it. Here. All right, uh, where's the thing? Um, they're in here. It's right. a spirally oh, circle I'll thingy. Rings, I'll get out the guy. Okay. Yeah. And we got to read from this Here's too. Here's the symbol. It's and a little spirally circle so. thing. Got a lot of stuff to do, okay. people. Okay. Where's the little figure? So. Right. Want me to help? Hey, you want me to help? 
No, he's got it. Oh, Thank you. I found it. Right there. Right where your finger is. It's in my hand. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. The unrevealing of a class. Now I remember. Wait, I gotta do the drum roll. Once you're done. Yes, they're sealed pretty darn good, people. And I can't get it off. I'm waiting. I know you are. Can't drum roll all day. Sure you can. Uh, well, don't take it out. Alright, yeah. Ah, can't get it out. Don't need help. Okay, oh. there we go. Right there? So, let's see oh, what it is. It's so it's a. Is it? It looks like a. It's purple. It is purple. It's wow. A, the summoner. 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 Is that people Let me wow. see. The summoner. Let me see. So I assume there's going to be allies oh, with this. Cool. Now these are my options. As the Vermily Mind Thief, I can play another Vermily Mind Thief. Just a different one. It won't be Snark. I can start him at the Prosperity level, which is four. Or I can play any of the other boxes, including the Scoundrel, the Craigheart, the Sunkeeper, sun any other class I want, or this Summoner. Why don't you play the Summoner? Most likely I will, but I'm just telling people their options. Yeah, what? What the rules are. Here, let me see. Well, don't go crazy. Let, let, let me read it. Oh, and we got to add road event and city event. Oh, uh, yeah. Because we're retiring a character. So let's do that first before we get into anything more. So. Yeah. Remember, if you look at your card, when you unlock the character, you'll add those Road and City events. Obviously, it's it's blank because this is one of the starting classes. But you can see a little 47. So we're going to add Road event and City event 47 to the deck, and we're actually going to shuffle the decks. So we got to find the Road events and City events. All right. And we have these to, are the active. That's ones. the new ones. Where the where the ones going on now? <coughs> Mark can join Stephanie in the retirement home of Gloomhaven Heroes. Yep. It's awesome there. And by the way, here's the summoner figure. Let me see him. Mm -hmm. So it's 47? Oh, 47, sweet. yep. High five. 47. Tiny high five, little dude. Go back over there. I'm going to have you shuffle that into the city. Alright, well, we got a new city event. Yay! And remember, this takes place before we do the city event here. You always do your thing first. Uh, and then we got a new road event that we're going to add. And then I'll put this where my personal quest went. Put it in the bottom of the pile of personal quests. Not that it's going to matter, but. Make sure you cut it. Yep. Then we'll add this road event. So remember, because usually you don't shuffle these decks until you add or remove something. Alright, so we got our newly shuffled city events. And we're about to shuffle our road events. Alright. Um Let's look at some other stuff. This is the summoner sheet. So you can see what it is there. Pretty good. It tastes like magic. Here's the summoner's character. Well, look at this Didn't one. Didn't you already show it up? Ignore negative scenario effects and add two plus one cards. Let me see that. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, cool. You gotta, like you gotta use effect. that as your perk. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah, I never didn't see this guy. Or is it a chick? I can't even tell. Let me, to tell. let me check. I think I, it's a female. I can see if yeah. it's a dude yeah. or a chick. I think it's a female. I, so this would be it. What is it? What? It's class. Asthir Summoner. Ooh, nice. Probably pronounced that word wrong, but you guys can see what it is. Um, can you see the resemblance to us? So we're going to add another road event and city event when I play this. So I'll, I'll probably pick this as my next thing, but we'll do that at the beginning of the next, um, next video. Next video. But 
Um, let's see, yeah, he's got the cards, got the modifier deck, got the little tokens. We can do cool. we can do a city event. City event. But also something else happens. Mm. You guys remember the town records book? Remember the town records? I was just getting these cards to come Stop out. reading yeah, until don't. Yeah, please don't. stop. Okay. Stop. Okay, stop reading until Gloomhaven has reached prosperity level four. So we're now level four, so I got some reading for you guys. So why don't you go ahead and sit down and you, right. I'll tell you a little story of what's going on in the um, town records. This book is really cool. It just fleshes out the city of Gloomhaven a little bit more. And if you saw our Capital Intrigue playthrough, it fleshes out the world a little more because we went to a different city. So this is actually all pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> I hope we understand each other, Mr. Scrim. A well-decorated soldier stands in the center of the town records building as you enter. The librarian, Dominic, seems rather small by comparison, but he is not at all intimidated. Oh, I understand you perfectly well, Dominic says. I don't think you understand our position. I'm trying to find the truth. The soldier looks up at you as you approach, then looks back down at the bearded man. Just think about what I said. He begins to gesture around him as he walks towards the door. I'd hate to have to tear down this whole place. Dominic waves at you grimly. Hey there, glad to see you stopped by. Who knows what sort of short-sighted, low-brow lengths that thug would have gone through to get his point across. He shakes his head and then fluffs his beard. It's just a difference of opinion, though. In my research, I've apparently asked the wrong people the wrong questions. It's amazing how reactionary thick-skulled people can get with, about what is written down on a piece of parchment. It's not unlike anyone's going to even read this little text of mine. Dominic coughs. Um, well, except you, of course. Is that why you've come by? I finished up the broad history if you want to take a look. And now he's going to read about the history of Gloomhaven a little bit more. Yay. As human civilization expanded across the continent, two major changes occurred. The first was that merchants grew into prominent positions within the cities due to wealth gained from lucrative trade routes, both within human civilization and with other races. The second change was that the wilds, which were once so dangerous, became much less so, especially in the center of the continent. As areas were converted to farmland and peace was made with the surrounding races in one way or another. The military taxed the trade heavily across the continent, and the merchants grew more and more resentful as larger portions of their earnings were demanded for less justification. The military did nothing and grew fat off the work of others. This all came to a head in the capital when the leader of the Merchants Guild, Simon Wainwright, organized a coup of the city's military by hiring an entire army of mercenaries with the guild's money and taking control of the city's keep. Very little force was actually required, as the city guard was outnumbered and woefully undertrained. The siege of the keep lasted less than two days, not near enough time for reinforcements to arrive from the surrounding cities. Once in power, the merchant school quickly won the favor of the citizenry with sweeping social changes, allowing for a great many freedoms and relieving them from the heavy taxation of the military. Once the commoners were on the side of the merchants, there was little hope for the military of regaining control. At which point, the mercenary army was no longer required, and the military was offered a decent salary to continue keeping watch over the city. After the capital was reformed, the merchants' revolution spread outward from there, quickly deposing the militaristic rule across the continent. As of the writing of this document, only one city remains under the governance of a military presence, Gloomhaven. And now Dominic is back to talking. Next. I really want to get into the development of Gloomhaven and this clash between the merchants and the military in the city. Dominic begins, but as you can see, the military isn't all that happy about it. Dominic hesitates. I was uh, hoping you all could do me a favor, actually. In order to continue to put my pen to paper, I think I'd better get the back of a powerful merchant to keep me safe. They're all sympathetic to me getting down this history, of course, but they are a little hesitant to publicly support the venture. I'm hoping you could do some convincing for me. You might have the most luck with Councilman Grey Mare. Unlock scenario. Oozing Grove, number 72. Uh, we need to find H12. H12? Yeah. So you look for that and I'll get the Oozing Grove. Which is going to be oozes at the oozing grove. 
So what is it, number 72? Yes. It's right here. Oh, it's right in the corpse wood. Nice. It's the same place where we went through the first and second levels. Oh yeah, it's right near the bandit uh, oh. places. Bandit yeah, the barrel yeah, layer and right. the black barrel. Yeah, when it first started. And then it says, stop reading until Oozing Grove has been completed. Hmm. So we can actually complete this. Yeah, we should go to Oozing Grove. But remember, we're still helping Hale out too, though. Mm -hmm. I think we should finish this quest chain. Yeah. yeah. Then we can go to the Oozing yeah. Grove. Yeah. All right, that was the town records. And the last bit of business is when the second printing came out, you can pay for a little bit extra solo scenarios. Ooh. It's a whole book. There's 17 scenarios for the 17 different classes. Ooh. And it says the scenarios are locked until the town has a chief for starting level 3 and 2 characters have retired. Stop reading until those two requirements have That's met. Well, as you can see, we have Prosperity Level 4, and I retired a character, and she's retired a character. Uh -huh. if you guys want so to we can it. actually unlock these solo scenarios. Um, I'll just read the little thing real quick. I won't read the scenarios, but just read the little thing. Oh, each of our investigators have a number. They do? Investigators? You mean characters? Oh, the scenario matches. Never mind. Investigators, I think it'll work on horror. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Note that these scenarios have no scenario numbers or stickers to go on the campaign map. You should not have any campaign interactions, events, or sanctuary donations before playing them. And they don't count for any specific location type in relation to personal quest. The scenarios can be played using an existing character from the campaign or a newly created character, but that character must be at least level 5 in all cases. These scenarios are significantly harder than normal scenarios. They're designed to test your skill and knowledge of the class. It is recommended that you study the scenario before playing and choose your ability cards, items, and perks carefully. Characters can earn money, experience, battle goals, and personal quest progression as normal. Why were you laughing? But it is recommended that players focus slowly on doing what they can to win. So these are pretty tough, it says. So it allows you, it says, look at the scenario, study it. The reward for each scenario is an item that is particularly beneficial for the class used in the scenario. Mm. Be warned that the following page contains spoilers for different classes available for play in Gloomhaven. You should only play the solo scenarios for the classes that, you have been, that have been unlocked in your campaign. To help avoid spoilers, below you'll find a table of contents sorted by class icons. Use this to find the scenarios of classes available to you and to avoid scenarios of classes yet to, not yet unlocked. So, you're fifth level now, aren't you? Yeah, I am fifth level. You're the only one, actually. Wow. Uh, yeah, because my I'm guy... I'm the only one who is who as, as can actually do can a do solo a scenario. solo scenario. And wow. it'd be neat because it's specifically for you, for yeah. your class. That's really cool. And then you're close, you're close. So I don't know if our next video is going to be an actual another one of these journals, or maybe it might even be one of the solo, solo scenarios. That, would, that could be cool. And as far as, so we'll tell you a little bit more about the summer next time. We'll read the background and all that stuff. Um, we will tell you what we pick, but we're probably going to most likely continue this quest chain. This hail. Yeah, but we do have a, a city event to do. No, wait. Before we do anything else, I leveled up. Oh, okay. So, so I gain a perk and a new card. I'm going to show you, you guys my card. My cards that I can choose from. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the two. Yeah. Yeah, the perk we'll tell you about next time. And because I retired, all my gold goes to waste. All my items go back to the marketplace. And I don't, and I don't, I got a perk from this last scenario, but there's no point in getting it because this one's going bye-bye. Bye-bye. Because you don't get the perks because you start off at a different level if I want to play another Vermin Mind Thief. So you're looking at the two level five cards? Yep. Okay, why don't you read one at a time? First one is Whirlwind. Let me see the card, and then I'll, then I'll get back to you to read. Remember, major spoilers. That's what the card looks like. At initiative 28, the top half is attack four, target all adjacent enemies, Gain one experience for each enemy targeted. 
and that's lost. In the bottom half is move four, push three, target one adjacent enemy, not lost. Move four is pretty good, 28 is pretty good. Yep. The second one is skirmishing maneuver. At initiative 29, only oh. one initiative higher. Okay. The top half is attack two, move two, attack two. I like, lost. you got a couple of those cards, yeah. Yeah, and the bottom half is attack three, range three, gain one experience. Ooh, a range. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna pick one of those cards and tell you what he picked next time, and he's gonna pick his perk, tell you what he got. Nobody else got a perk, right? Nope. Nobody else leveled up? Nope. We got a reward? Nope. All right, I mean, yes. wanna do the city event? Sure, why not? All right, I'm going to read, and I'll pick. he did the last, he did the road event. So I'll pick? So, actually, I haven't picked in a while. So, Mark, why don't you... Why can't I read it? You read. All right, you read it. And no, I, you read it last time. Yeah, you did. You read the road event. Oh. Yeah, you did. Yeah, just read it loud and clear and slowly and let me know choices. While enjoying your customary post-adventure drink at the Sleeping Lion, you notice something weird going on with the lamps in the, in the bar. Your first thought is that it is your imagination, but after staring at the, at the lamps intensely, you see they are flickering in and out. Tech lamps, as opposed to normal gas-burning ones, have been known to be a bit unreliable. As if on cue, the lamps suddenly go out completely, leaving the room pitch black. Option A. Offer to fix the lamps. It shouldn't be too hard with a bit of technical know-how. Or option B. Take the opportunity to steal some valuables from the drunk patrons in the dark. What the heck? I like how they give you this either. It's good or it's evil. Yep. As you know, we've been Obviously taking... Obviously pick off today. No, we've been taking the altruistic route throughout this thing. So, yeah, I'll do option A. Good. All right. Option A. If we have the tinker, we do not. Blah, 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 blah. Otherwise, you fumble about... Me Magnanimous, magnanimously, magnanimously, just move for on. a while before concluding that you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> the proprietor looks disappointed and sends out for a rail tinker. The proprietor, okay. Yeah, no effect, and we have to rip up the. Oh, uh, do we? I, I just want to look at it. I, I want to rip it. No, it's his turn to rip it. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking like... Damn, could have got two repetitions. All right, whatever. We got to rip it up, so do it right, like right here. Yeah. The wording, I was thinking option A, tinker. Option B, scoundrel. Yeah. Which both All right, you can toss we, that away. Which both characters we do not have. Right, yeah. we had scoundrel, and but we were both characters were actually used. By option me. A by, is by yours truly. Oh, because we used a tinkerer in... Yeah, Capital no, answer. I mean, both options. Option A, you had to use the Tinker, and option B, you had to yeah, use... Yeah, but did we use the Tinker in the Capital Intrigue? Yeah, yes. we did. Yeah, okay, so it's unlocked. We've unlocked it. So I, so I could play the Tinker or two yeah. but if I wanted to, but I think I might do the Summoner, just because we haven't used this yet, yeah. and, you know, Summoner is I've really earned cool. it. Looks All right, cool. well, there was a lot, that was a lot that showed up our journal, and... Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what, if we're going to do a regular scenario next time or Just whatever. Um, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Ciao! Bye!